All the how to choose your flex rating uh, YouTube videos are just dumpster fire garbage. So I'm going to help beer leaguers actually choose their flex using a whole slew of different techniques so you can come up with the best way to have the best shot. What's going on beer leaguers? Justin aka Boomer, Beer League Bomb Hockey Reviews and today I want to help beer leaguers understand and pick a flex that's going to help them in their pursuit of a better shot. And when I look around beer league locker rooms, on benches, etc., I find that more people need help with this than ever before. Between kick point, flex, and curve, it can be a massive difference in your game. But before we do any of that, the only way this is going to work is if you guys go watch my kick point video first. So I'm going to sit here and wait. You're going to go watch the kick point video. I'm going to put up the thumbnail so you know what it looks like on my channel. And I'll be back. Go watch that. This is pretty much the best beer league training video on Kickpoint, so go watch it, and then you're going to see the second best video. Did you watch it? Good. Now, here's the problem with flex. You've got guys that are using a stick that they couldn't bend if it was a pool noodle because it's just too stiff. you got guys that are overcompensating and bending their stick like they're a caveman, and then you've got everything in between. You got people not tailoring their shots to the actual kick point, to the flex, to the curve, to the stick, to the brand, and all these other different things, and you end up with poor performance. And that's one of the biggest things I think that separate a beer league player that can score and help his team, and those that are kind of the duster that's the bench warmer. And that's just the given fact, is unfortunately too many people are using the stiff stick that's too stiff for them, or they're using something too whippy, and they're using an untailored kick point to their shot style. So in this video, I'm going to break down the rest of it on how I think I can help you with using that kick point video that I talked about, and now tailoring your flex to it to be the best shooter you possibly can be. All right, guys, so flex should never be about weight. That's one of the dumbest pieces of advice in hockey to this day, is that your flex should be half your weight. Sometimes I'm 200 pounds. I guess you guys saw my video. Right now I'm 179 pounds. A 25 pound difference would mean that my stick flex is changing consistently. Weight is the dumbest thing you can use to decide what your flex should be. Instead, I'm gonna run you through all the reasons that you should use to pick your flex and hopefully it helps you out. So that's what we're here to do today. Let's run through it right now. Hey guys, so picture this. You got Austin Matthews running an 82 flex stick and you have the option of going 87, 80, 75, or 70. Austin Matthews can tweak his flex by anything that he chooses to do. He can take a couple shots with an 87 and go back to his supplier and be like, I actually want an 82. Can you imagine what it would be nice to do that? Well, unfortunately, we aren't pros. We don't have that ability. However, when I run you through everything here, I'm going to show you how to tweak your flex depending on your shot type, the type of stick you're using, lower high kick, how strong you are, if you cut your stick, and all sorts of different stuff. So we're going to run through all the steps and hopefully it helps you out. Let's get it going. All right guys, taking some shots here. The first thing and most important is always going to be kick point. Just like my kick point video said, that's tailored to shop tight. We'll get into that. But the kick point is really where the first idea of flex is going to come from. Uh, a mid kick is going to be easier to load with easier power and you can generally use a higher flex for that. If you love to migrate towards the mid kick or hybrid, you can go on a higher flex. I find it's far more successful. If I'm using a low kick stick, I am far more successful in a lower flex. All right guys, next is how much power do you want to generate? It is no secret that a higher flex stick, let's say 100 flex, you know, 90 flex versus the 60 or 70 is going to store more energy. It's just the way physics works. Now the thing is, if you're strong enough, if you have good technique, you're big, you have a really long stick for leverage, you're going to be able to generate more power. There's no reason that Zdeno Chara would want to use the 120 flex stick other than wanting to generate more power. He broke the hardest shot record at I think like 108 or 109 years ago because he uses a 120 flex stick 
and he's able to generate the energy that's stored there. That's what he was trying to accomplish. If he was not trying to generate that and he was sitting in front of the net ticking, tipping pucks or he's a quick forward taking quick snapshots, he would not be using 120 flex stick. That is not what he's trying to generate from a power. He's a blue liner blasting 109 mile an hour shots from the blue line. That's what you need to do. If you want to generate more power, get a higher flex. If you want to do quick, easy, quick release, in between, really close to the net, go lower. It's gonna be your stick length. You've got stock versus longer stock for Sherwood. Now this is gonna affect your flex a lot. This is an 85 to 75. We really gotta focus on choosing our flex based on how long your stick is. So let's go over what that's gonna be back at the house. Hey guys, to make it even more confusing, now we're gonna get a stick from different brands and their different heights and I'm gonna cut it and I like it up to here and this guy likes it up to here. At the end of the day is the actual flex of the stick doesn't change despite what you might think. If you buy an 85 flex and you cut it down two inches, it's still an 85 flex. It's just changing the leverage of the stick. So it's something that needs to be taken into consideration. If you like to use an 85 flex, mid kick stick because you're a power shooter like me but you cut it down a little bit then I would just drop the flex only slightly with the CCM for example you can go to 85 to 80 and now your leverage point is not changing heavily you do not want to make huge jumps in flex though you don't want to just be like I'm cutting my stick by three or four inches I'm going to usually use an 85 well I'm going to drop it down to a 70 trust me you will not get the result that you want all right, so if I listen to Boomer, he wants me to use 160 flex stick. So that should probably be about here. So that should be good. Let's, let's give that a go and see how we do. Good God, do not do that. My last tip on stick cutting is to choose that flex rating that you're wanting to kind of work with and slowly work your way down, especially with something like a CCM or Sherwood or maybe like a Pro Stock or something. Sometimes they come very tall. Slowly cut those down and make sure that you get to the flex that you want based on what you're trying to generate so far in the video. Before we move on, the other tip I have for you in choosing a flex is do not choose a flex using synthetic ice, especially at a demo zone. That is probably one of the worst ideas you can have. And so many people, including myself, have told me that they've shot a stick at a demo zone, taken it to the ice, and it was completely different. And the reason is twofold. First is you have not actually taped your stick, you do not have tape on your stick, you do not have your knob, and you have not maybe adjusted it to your height. So you use it, you think it's okay, feels okay, you're not tweaking it to anything. Next, the synthetic ice actually has a lot of friction. It actually holds back and allows the kick point and flex to actually generate different style of power that the ice doesn't actually do. So very interesting is that I notice a huge difference in terms of how much I can load when I'm using synthetic ice because of that friction. So be really wary of when you're doing it. Maybe use it for feel, see how the puck feels, you know, if you kind of like just how it feels generally, but definitely do not choose your flex based on synthetic ice. You will regret that one. Guys, shot style is the next one that's most important. My favorite shot, I'm gonna show you right here, that you guys know from my kick point video is what I use, and it requires a higher flex. So again, from my kick point video, that's the one where I load a little bit, and I take the shot. That's my favorite shot. Jet speed, 85 flex works best for that. Let's do the lower flex, and I'll show you what I think the best shot flexes. Okay. All right, guys, we got the 75 flex in a mid low kick, not hybrid. This is what I think the best shot for that is. It's more of the curl and drag shot, not the style shot. It's going to require a lower flex. If you're the type of guy who has his hands up really high and all your shots are a curl and in, Austin Matthews line A style. My shooting style is low and snapshot. That's a low flex, still looks great, but I could feel the stick losing power. Remember, hands up here, lower flex, bring it in, move the weight transfer like that. So here's four goals where I was using the QR 
10. And I was testing that stick recently because I picked one up because the new Covert's coming out. And I use the same shot in all four of these, you know, little load back slapper. I just can't help myself to not do it. The difference here is the goalie was not great, so there's a little bit of a caveat there, and I scored those four goals. But from my personal feelings of the stick, the 75 flex and the low kick just did not generate the type of power with that shot style for me. So if I had switched to my LX Pro and then an 85 flex, I would have been generating more power. So although this worked here, is I could tell that my shot was not anywhere near it could be because I just could not help myself in shooting with my style. All right guys, final one to help you pick your flex. Let's talk about player style. I am a shooter, I really rely on my shot. All my sticks are usually mid kick. I rely on power and I rely on that style. I really use a shooting style stick with a higher flex. Not necessary if your goal is to have quick wrist shots, uh, nice passing, easy to gather passes, whatever it is, flex should tailor to your game. If you're mostly a passer, then your flex should probably go with that. All right guys, hear what I mean by player style, kick point, length of stick, and flex and flex rating. This is 85 flex, it's a Sherwood, it's longer. It's a low kick stick. You'll see on my shot here that I have to put a lot of effort into it. As we finish this up and I run through the Sherwood here when I was testing that stick then the video that I recently released, I do a whole bunch of different shots here and I realize that unfortunately with this stick and everything that goes with it is its current flex is not ideal. If I decided that I liked the Sherwood because maybe the cost and the lightness of the stick, I would tailor this stick a lot different if it was my gamer. So here's the reason. It's a low kick stick. I picked an 85 flex because I usually use an 85 with a mid. Didn't work. I would probably go to a 75. Here's the thing though, it is a little bit too long for me, so if I would cut it down. So therefore the 75 would probably be perfect sitting at about an 80 now in terms of a leverage. Uh, the shot style that I use with it, slap shots are not ideal. I would stick with my quick little snappers and it probably would generate some power and that would be ideal if this was my gamer. But here's the problem guys, is that stick just doesn't work for me. I didn't, I'd have to tailor too much different things for it to work. I really enjoy the kick of the jet speed, so I have tweaked that 100% to my specific shooting style. 85 flex, slightly cut down, so now I've got a little bit stiffer leverage. I love the hybrid kick point, I generate so much power. It works really well with my little snap style shot. I do not do drag shots, I do not do wrist shots. I'm a, I'm a slapper and quick snapshot type of guy and it works excellent for that. So that's what I'm saying when you throw all this stuff together and you come up with the type of flex you have. I'll tell you right now, the jet speed would not work if I was rocking a 65 flex. So I'm hoping that helps guys. Let's summarize this in the end here and let's go off and have a good day. Dude, oh my God. Just tell them to do half their weight. It's so much easier. You're 200 pounds, it's 100 flex. Makes perfect sense. I give up with this guy. Oh, gotta give it to Hockey Influencer. He sure tries, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? At the end of the day guys, the summary here is as beer leaguers, we generally don't have coaches. We generally go to the internet and other people that are successful to help with what we're trying to accomplish. And from the end result here is I am a good shooter. I do score a lot of goals. Uh, I really understand what it takes for that, from my kick point, my flex to my game, to understand what type of equipment I do need so I can be a successful and fun beer leaguer without being the duster on the bench. So in summary guys, at the end of the day, you break all that down and you're gonna figure out what direction you're trying to go in. If you are the guy that is using the hands here, you know, the longer stick, this slap shot, the snap shot, you know, the hybrid kick, the mid kick, you are gonna gravitate in the way of a higher flex. And if you're the guy that has your hands close, you use a low kick stick, you like to cut your stick down, you know, those types of things, you are gonna gravitate into the other way and be in that 65, 70 range. So take that as a grain of salt as you can, guys. I hope it helps. 
I really tried my best to explain how I came to the realization that the flex I was using wasn't working and I eventually went to the 85 or 90-ish range. Uh, when back in the day, I used to actually use about 105 and I've tried things like 65 and 70 and it just doesn't work. So thanks for watching guys, Beer League Bump Hockey Reviews. Stick around for the next one. All right guys, you take into consideration all of that stuff and I'll tell you right now, your flex is not gonna have anything to do with how heavy you are.